you can make your own will and it'll only cost you tens of thousands of dollars to do so. Right now, everybody's feeling super vulnerable. One of the top Google searches last week was how to make a will. People wanna make sure that if something happens to them, that things would be taken care of. And they just wanna feel a little bit more security right now in a time that seems like it's kind of spiraling out of control. I get it. And these are good things to do. We wanna make sure our loved ones would be taken care of. And in California, you actually can make your own will. It's called a holographic will, and there's very little requirements to make sure it's valid. So to make your own will, all you have to do is make sure that you as a testator, that's the person, the legal name of the person who creates it, that you sign the document. And then also any of the material terms of your wishes need to be in your own handwriting. Typically, your material, uh, the material uh, wishes would be where you want your assets to go when you pass away, who you want to be in charge, or who, who you would want to raise your children. And as long as you had mental capacity when you did it, it seems like a great idea because it is addressing what you would want to have happen. And if you did pass away, having this will is something that your family could give a judge to say what you want to have happen. The operative word there being judge. And that's because a will does not avoid your family having to go through a long and expensive court process if you pass away. In California, our probate process can last 18 to 24 months long. During that time, your assets are all frozen. Someone in your family is gonna have to take the lead, usually the person you designated in your will. And then you are gonna have all of your assets open to the public, meaning anyone's gonna know what you have and what's going on. That's why when celebrities die with just a will or without any planning, we always know what's going on. It's public record. And the real kicker is that probate is super expensive. In California, we see probates regularly cost tens of thousands of dollars, if not more which means that will you threw together will absolutely cost your family tens of thousands of dollars. Also, when you do your own will, the problem is that that's one of the number one legally contested documents because it was something that is seen as homemade and without supervision. And it does get contested a lot when people pass away. And then finally, a will only addresses what you wanna have happen after your death. What if you get sick? Who have you designated to manage your finances or manage your medical care or make decisions for you? A will can't help you do that. Those aren't, that's not the right document to address those types of wishes. And so you get in a situation where all of a sudden you think you've taken this great step, but in reality you haven't avoided the major pitfalls most people experience when a loved one passes away and there wasn't proper planning in place. And so I want to tell you exactly what you need so you can be sure that you have done your due diligence, you've taken care of your family, and everybody is set up for the best. The first thing most Californians will need is not a will, but what's called a revocable living trust. And what a revocable living trust is, is a legal document that your attorney sets up and it says, this is who I am, this is who I love, this is how I want my money to go to my loved ones when I pass away with any restrictions or protections. It's kind of like a will, but what's so great about it is that it avoids, it completely avoids that long and expensive court process I told you about called probate, as long as it was properly set up and all your assets were properly connected to your own trust. The other thing that you really need is strong medical powers of attorneys right now. So you've designated who will make your medical decisions if you lose capacity or are seriously ill. And also like what family members and friends you want the hospital to be able to talk to about your condition if you can't communicate that information. Otherwise, hospitals are precluded from doing that under our HIPAA laws. And then the other thing that you need to make sure that you have is strong financial power of attorneys. Because if you are hurt, you need to authorize people who can manage your money for you. Without these pre-authorizations, your family is gonna have to go through court even when you're alive if you've lost any kind of capacity because you're seriously ill. And they're gonna have to go through a court process, which is also extremely expensive. 
And then also what you need is someone that your family can turn to who's not a player in the situation, someone more objective and calm, who be able to help them navigate these matters if you are seriously ill or pass away. That's exactly what your family needs. And if you're trying to save money by doing your own will or think it's more convenient, you're really just going to end up spending tens of thousands of dollars on the back end and subjecting your family to courts and headaches and turmoil during a time that's already uncertain. I have to tell you about a family that I recently helped who was dealing with a severe medical situation. They came to us to set up their planning and thankfully, even though the wife had terminal cancer, we were able to set up all of her planning in place to make sure that her medical decisions could be made, her finances could be handled during her treatments and when she was incapacitated, and that when she did ultimately pass away, the husband was able to just come straight to our office and we were able to handle everything quietly and efficiently without them having to ever even go through court. This brought them so much peace of mind and the husband was so thankful that he had our guidance during one of the worst times of his life. I could contrast that situation for you with so many other families who don't have planning in place and I'm having to give them much different news. I'm having to tell them about how they're gonna have to go through probate and how legally there's nothing that we can do at that point to avoid it. I want your family to be the success story just like many other families so that you don't even need to worry about this or have it in the back of your head or try and navigate these complex matters on your own. And I know if you think it's expensive, it's only a fraction of the cost to set up compared to what it will cost you not to plan. I'm Laura Meyer and I'm a California estate planning attorney and someone like me is exactly someone who can help you during this very difficult time. All of my team at the Meyer Law Firm is set up to help you completely virtually through this entire experience if you can't, because of public or personal circumstances, come to our offices in San Francisco, Bay Area, or Newport Beach. We can make sure that you get the state-of-the-art planning on the terms that you need in a way that's convenient and safe. Our team is rated five stars on both Yelp and Google, which are independent review sites from our clients, which we're very proud of. We feel like we have the best clients in the world. And I have a 10.0 rating, which is superb, on Avo, an independent attorney review site. We're very proud of the work that we do, and we're very well equipped to help you during this time. If you wanna find out exactly what type of planning your family needs, because every family's different and the type of planning they need will vary, I invite you to schedule a free virtual or in-person meeting with a member of our team here at the Meyer Law Firm. You can click on the button below or you can call our warm and welcoming client services director, Bonnie Johnson at 949-718-0420. If public circumstances continue to change, we are still going to be set up to help you virtually. Take advantage of this time to talk to a member of our team. It's worth it.